I think it's no secret that Benton is one of my absolute favorite Korean skincare brands. You know, when I first started to get into my skincare addiction, when I first kind of started my 10-step routine, Benton's products, their Snail Bee Essence and their, their Snail Bee High Content Steam Cream were really some of the first products that made a big impression on me that gave me really immediate and really fantastic results. And for the last four years, I've kind of always had at least one Benton product in all of my routines because they're just so reliable for me. So I've done tons of reviews on Benson's products, but I thought, you know what? Let's do a brand review. Let's talk all about Benton today. So give this video a big thumbs up because we're going to dive in deep to the brand story. We're going to find out what Benton stands for, all about its product lines, and maybe we'll find a new product that's just right for you. <music> So Benton is actually inspired by the movie The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. And in that movie, the main character, he um, ages in reverse. He doesn't get older, he gets younger. And that's what Benton is all about. You know, they're all about turning back the clock with their products. It's all about maintaining a youthful appearance to your skin. Now, Benton, you will never see them chasing the trends or any kind of like glamorous ingredients. Benton really sticks true to what they find to be quality and effective ingredients. And you'll be happy to know that Benton is actually PETA certified cruelty free. So all of their products are actually never tested on animals and they do have their little bunny logo to prove it. The other really interesting thing about Benton that I think makes them stand apart from some other Korean skincare lines is that they're dedicated to using natural preservatives in their products. They truly believe that synthetic preservatives are not good for your skin and they really want to make sure that their products are good for sensitive skin. So they only use natural preservatives in their products. They also only create their products in small batches to ensure their freshness and their quality. Now, now, I really didn't want to bring this topic up because I really just feel like it's pretty irrelevant, but honestly, if we're going to do a whole brand review, we have to be completely transparent, right? And those of you who have been around in the Korean beauty scene for a, a while or who like to dig deep into the archives of Asian Beauty Reddit, you may be familiar with a little bit of a scandal that Benton was involved in quite a few years ago, going on probably about five years now. Um, five years ago in about 2013. 2014 time, um, there was a little bit of an issue with mold found in Benton products. Now what happened was the natural preservative system that they used to use had failed. So some of the products had made it to the shelves and into the hands of consumers and it developed mold because the preservatives were not working. Now as far as I know, every consumer that reported this issue to Benton was given their money back. Um, and I also know that Benton kind of like swooped in really quickly as soon as they found out about this issue, they recalled all their products back, they took them all off the shelves, and what I really think was great about how Benton sort of reacted to this, you know what, they still stayed true to what they truly believed in, which is natural preservatives and not using synthetic preservatives in their products. So they went back to the drawing board to figure out how can they make their natural preservative system better. And they did. They came up with a better preservative system that they now have in place. And it's actually called the ultrasonic extract method from CMB Cosmetics. And this is what makes sure that the natural preservatives do exactly what they're supposed to. Now, the reason that I bring this up is because there is still, that information is still out there on the internet. And I want to let you guys know that yes, this did happen, but Benton did respond. They made their products better. And when I first started to use Benton, it was just after all this controversy had occurred. And honestly, I've used Benton for four years now. I've never had a product spoil on me. I've never had a product go moldy on me. I've never had it change colors, change scent, or anything like that. I've never had an issue whatsoever with Benton. So I think it really just shows how well Benton really addresses the issue, how they respond to um, uh, a problem, and how they made their products 
better. Let's talk about some products, shall we? Now, I think the line that Benton is most famous for is their Snail Bee line. It's quite iconic. Now, this is a blend between snail secretion as well as bee venom, and this is really geared towards those who struggle with acne, with redness, irritation, even like rosacea. This is actually perfect for those types of skin. Now, this is going to be a very soothing and hydrating line. It's also including a lot of skin evening ingredients like um, niacinamide. Now, they used to include Arbitin in their formula, which was really great to help give your skin like an all-over even toned appearance and a glow, but they since have uh, replaced that with niacinamide, which we all still know as an excellent brightening ingredient. Some of the products in the Snail Bee line also contain a small amount of azelaic acid, which is actually a really exciting ingredient if you suffer from clogged pores, blackheads, any kind of uneven skin texture. Azelaic acid is actually an excellent fighter against that. So really all of these combined really make it the ideal line for those who suffer with acne. Now, I think one of their flagship products in this line is the High Content Essence. Now, this stuff has been reviewed on this channel before, so I'm going to link that up the top here for you guys as well as in the info box below if you want to learn more about this guy, but really it's just a fantastic lightweight essence, sinks into your skin like a dream, and this is one of my top two holy grail snail essences. Now, the Snail Bee line also offers a lightweight lotion. Now, this is great if you have a very oily skin and you can really only handle a lightweight moisturizer as your final layer. The Snail Bee lotion is fantastic because it's got all those beneficial ingredients. The snail secretion is going to be great and hydrating, but it's still going to feel very lightweight. Now, for those of you who are a little bit more combo and also kind of veered more towards the dry side of things, I would say that the high content steam cream is going to be your best bet in the Snail Snail Bee line as your final moisturizing layer. Now this is just a little bit thicker of a product, a little bit more of an occlusive layer, but it is still breathable and it is still lightweight. Potential holy grail alert, the Snail Bee sheet mask is fantastic. I buy these by the box full. Honestly, this mask is one of the few sheet masks that I've ever used that have given me immediate and visible results. No joke. This has some great uh, brightening ingredients in it, just like the rest of the Snail Bee products. So when you use it, you take the mask off, you're going to notice that your skin is going to glow. It's going to be brighter and it's going to have a much more even tone to it. Now, if you have any kind of act active acne going on, use this sheet mask. This will help to shrink the pimple in half or flatten it overnight. I'm not kidding. This also includes azelaic acid. And I think that's one of the ingredients in combination with the others that really helps to fight the inflammation quickly. This will also decrease redness on your face almost immediately. I cannot sing the praises of this sheet mask enough. If you haven't tried it, please do try it. And one more product that I want to talk about in the Snail Bee line is actually brand spanking new for the year of 2018, and that is the Snail Bee Ultimate Serum. Now, you may be asking yourself, if they have the Snail Bee Essence, why is the serum any different? Well, the different thing about the serum is that the snail secretion that's in this is actually fermented. Now, before this product existed, Benton did roll out with their own uh, fermented line of a couple of products that include fermented ingredients. And I think it really took that fermentation line for them to really get that technology down in order for them to create this product. So this is really like, this is almost like like Snail Bee 2.0. This is like Benton bigger and better, right? So they really combined the two different technologies, the Snail Bee um, kind of concept with the fermentation technology. So this is actually like a supercharged serum and it produces really fast results. Now, as I mentioned, they do have a fermentation line. It is um, not a huge line. There's a few products in it, including an eye cream, but I'm not going to speak about any of those products because I've actually not tried any of them yet. Now, Benton also features an aloe line. Now, this is really great for sensitive skin. It's going to be very soothing and refreshing for the skin, but still a good choice for those who suffer from acne. Now, they do have a BHA skin toner. Now, skin just equals the word toner, and this is a combination of BHA 
day and aloe. It's great if you are fighting acne. If you are depending on this product to deliver you chemical exfoliation, I have to disappoint you and tell you it will not give you chemical exfoliation type results. The pH of this toner is just not right for it to be able to be effective in the exfoliation realm. However, this does still have some of the benefits of BHA. It's going to be very soothing for inflamed pimples. It's going to be great for clogged pores, but it's really not going to give you that kind of like wham bam that you're looking for with chemical exfoliation. You know what I mean? So don't, don't be fooled by the word BHA in this toner. It's really not going to give you BHA type results, but it is going to be a great addition to a routine with additional chemical exfoliation in it. Now they also have an aloe propolis gel, which is excellent for acne prone skin. Now aloe, we know very soothing, very hydrating. Propolis is also very hydrating, but it has those antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties to it that make this gel perfect for overly oily skin as well as acne prone skin. Now Benton also has an honest line and the tagline for the honest line is honest ingredients that you can be reassured of. Now this includes a foaming cleanser that I have to be honest with you I have never tried before because I've actually actively avoided it because it does have a high pH and you know me I'm all about that low pH life when it comes to cleansers. The pH of the honest foaming cleanser does range between about 7 and 8 which is just in my opinion a little bit too high. Now they also have a face mist that includes tea tree and that's called the TT Honest Mist. Now, TT is tea tree, not TT, right? <laughs> Any Twice fans out there? Eh, that song is in my head now. No, um, TT is tea tree. Now this is a great mist. Again, acne prone people, Benton is really going to be your line. This is a really great mist. It's great underneath makeup um, as one of your skincare layers, but it also works on top of makeup really well. Now I used the TT mist quite a few years ago and I did enjoy it. I used the whole product up, but to be honest with you, I never repurchased because the spray was quite disappointing. The nozzle itself just sort of like spit the, um, the mist at you. It just kind of felt like it was spitting water in a way. So it wasn't a very even mist. Uh, the application wasn't so great and it just wasn't really worthy of a repurchase. However, just recently, like in the last couple of months, Benton has rolled out their Tea Tree line, which is different from the Honest line. And within the Tea Tree line, they have released a Tea Tree Mist. Now, from what I understand, the Tea Tree Mist is supposed to replace the Honest TT Mist. This is an upgraded version. It's got a little bit more Tea Tree in it. It's kind of like an improved formula. And the nozzle and packaging is so much better. The Tea Tree was kind of weird. It came like in a squeeze tube with like a nozzle attached to it. It's just kind of bizarre. But the uh, TT Mist is in more of your standard um, misting packaging in a bottle with a really nice fine mist from what I hear. Now I haven't tried it out yet. Like I said, it's pretty brand spanking new, but the reviews that I've read have said that the mist, the nozzle on the mist is so much better. And Benton has really rolled out with a lot of new lines in the last couple of years. And one of them is the Cacao Moist and mild line. Now I've only had the privilege of trying one product from their three product lines so far and that was the Cacao Moist and Mild Serum. Now this also has a dedicated review. I told you guys I am a big Benton fan so you guys can find that above or in the info box if you're interested in learning more about the serum. This line is a little bit more geared towards those who suffer from dehydrated skin. This is great for people who have poor oil water balance on their skin and this is a really lightweight um, line. Every product in the line, from what I understand, is just very lightweight and breathable. So if you suffer from like an overproduction of oil, but you also have very dehydrated skin underneath, this is going to be a really great line for you. Now, Benton is really best for those who have oily skin type or a combination skin type. If you're dry, I just want to let you guys know if you have a dry skin type, Benton may not be right for you. You know, their products are very lightweight and they're very watery. They don't offer a, a ton of moisture. They're not very rich they're not very occlusive so there may be some products that will work for dry skin but just generally speaking they do veer more on the side of oily and combination skin types Benton, also take note, if you suffer from acne, from redness, rosacea, irritated skin, Benton is probably going to have a product that's going to help you address those issues with your skin.
Now the other thing that just really endears Benton to my heart is the fact that it's so budget friendly and affordable. You really are going to find all of the Benton products to be ranged between about $12 to $20, which I think is a really comfortable um, price range for all of these products. And it makes it really easy to incorporate it into a routine. I don't think I've ever seen a Benton product that retails more than $20. So let me know in the comment box below, have you guys tried any products from Benton? And if you have, what's your favorite one? If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you ring that little alarm bell, you'll get a notification every time I upload a new skincare video, which is twice a week. And if you absolutely cannot wait for the next video, come join me on Instagram. I have a link to my profile in the info box below. I post about my daily skincare adventures with routines and reviews. So if you can't wait, if you're addicted to skincare, come say hi on Instagram. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I hope you are having a beautiful day. Bye.